Good day, Divergence Traders. How are you doing today? What a big sell-off today in the NASDAQ and the S&P and probably the Dow as well. <clears throat> so, looky, looky what we have here. Here's a prime example of, do I take a chance and lose? Or do I follow what this is saying right here? See, right here, look, we have a low. This is the five minute and a lower low. Right here, we have the big deep valley and right there, okay? The five is crossed up, we got the gap. Everything's perfect to buy except what is the 15? This is the five minute, remember? So here it is. Yeah, this is bullish. But we need the 15 minute to be bullish in order to buy right here. This is definitely a buy right here. But if you if you want to trade with the trend, you don't buy. And that's it. Because this could trick you. It's obviously in a major uh, down movement right now. Like, check this out. This is the four hour, okay? Want to see that divergence on the four hour quickly? Right here, ding. And right here, ding. And you would have sold right here today on the opening of, this is the four hour. So you would have sold about four or five hours ago or eight hours ago. And it would have been a huge winner. It would have uh, went down from your entry, 160 points from your entry point. Anyway, we are not looking at the four hour. I just wanted to show you the divergence there. Okay, let's go back to the five minute. So the only thing we could do, here's the open right here, 1630, okay? Let me just put a line there because we're about to go to the one minute. So there's like two, two good trades right here, okay? We opened up, we crashed down. Then we had what on our way down? The five below the seven you need, right? You need a higher closing candle. This is where you would have sold it. And your stop would have been right there. It would have got your stop on that one. Then we had another one down, a down candle and a higher closing candle. If you would have sold it on the opening of this one, you did good. There was 35 people in there, okay? Now, let's take a, those are scalp trades with the trend, okay? They just, they just went gold digging right here. <laughs> That's what they did. And tomorrow's non-farm payroll. <clears throat> Don't be surprised. Tomorrow's an up day. <laughs> they love to do this. If you, if you look at, uh, the weekly, okay, we're in a major uptrend here, okay? Now, I could be wrong about this analysis, but I'm thinking, hey, they took it back up this far, <laughs> right? Let's, let's put a Fibonacci on there for fun. Okay, from the high here, down. Oh, I hate when it goes all the way across the chart. Okay. So, as you can see, we blew through the 61.8. This is where you'd look to sell if it's going back down. Okay? Somewhere in here is the 78.6. I don't have it on the chart. I don't have it on my Fibonacci right now. But anyway, they say if it goes to the 78.6, it's going to go all the way. Okay? Now, I myself don't understand why it's coming all the way back up here okay like and stop right here nah they're gonna take it they're just doing a little bit more you know how do you say like some people call it consolidation uh some people call it what is it supply and demand whichever one it is i i don't know because I, I don't trade that, 
But uh, when I see something like this, where it came all the way back up here, it's bound to go back up to here, okay? To the high of, like, in 2021. Let's see. Okay. The ultimate high of the NASDAQ, when it comes all the way back up here, it, it, it's got to keep going up to here. We might have a little drawdown right now. You know, not draw down, but we might have a little down, uh, a down, a bit of a down move because they want to go and fill their orders, some more orders. They want to get people selling because they're buying. This is the trend of the of the of the big uh, whales. It's up, man, not down. And I think they're going to take it up to here, to the high, and possibly make new highs before the end of the year. That's what I think. But I could be 100% wrong. Don't listen to me. I'm just some guy on the internet on YouTube who trades divergence, okay? Anyway, let me show you this trade here. They had so many people, including myself, thinking that we we're going to go back to the, you know, the demic, okay? You know, the demic, the corona. I thought it was, when it was down here, I thought it was going back here. They tricked everybody. Double bottom right here, see? Right here like this to here. And up it went all this way. Okay, went up like the entry would have been right here from the double bottom. Right now you'd be up uh, 3,400 pips, points. Anyway, look, we're, we're going back. Going back down now, obviously, because there, see? See why it was smart not to buy in here? Because our 15 minute still said, no, don't do it, don't do it. Look, and it's going back down again. <laughs> yeah, it's not funny, but see? See how important this little. Uh, Sorry, I just had to get a drink of water. I keep forgetting the stupid name of this this, this wonderful indicator. I used to see the all different kinds of these in dashboard. I used to see all kinds of these indicators before, and I'd laugh at them. And but but how I have this one structured and made, it, it's it's actually it's worth something. It's worth something to you. Anyway, okay. Let me just look at the 15 minute quickly. Yeah, we had divergence on the 15 minute. Look, it's like a double top right there. See that? Close enough and look down here. See, you would have sold right here after the first 15 minutes of the open today. You'd be up right now 143 pip points. Okay, now let's look at what I want to look at. The one minute. Calm down, Jason. Quit screaming. All right, screaming the freaking the the words out. It's hard for me to talk sometimes. I have to like scream out the the words. I'm sorry if I was a little loud just there just now. Okay, let's go look at this now. Now let's take off the auto scroll. Let's take this off. All right, right here. Okay, 1630, you can see it down here. This is the open right here, okay? All right. So, let me show you all the trades on the one minute, okay? Um, we have a high and a higher high with the opening price right here, okay? So, the first trade was right here to sell. So we're right on the opening of this candle. We would have sold it. Our stop would have been 25 points. Went down 36 points. Okay. Then <clears throat> there's no trade down here to do anything. Okay. However, there is a trade up here. It's right here. No, it's not there. It's here. 
from this high to this high, let's just put it to this one, okay? From here to there, okay? This is the one minute now, ladies and gentlemen, and the entry was right there. After the price crossed down below through the, the moving averages, the moving average crossed down the five below the seven, our entry point was right here to sell it, okay? So we would have sold it right here on the opening of this one, and look at that, went down 44 points. Your stop is always at the closest swing high in a sell trade, and the closest swing low in a buy trade, okay? So that's where your, your stop would go, 28 pips, points, it went down 44. If you still held on here, it went down 60, okay? Then let's check out the next trade. <laughs> Lots of trades on the one minute. Low and lower lows. Gotta love divergence. Okay, and we got a, a buy right there. Okay, so you would have bought it right there. Your stop would have been like 20 points. And it went up 20 points. See, as quickly as you get in the trade, you put your stop on, you put your take profit on the equal same amount of your stop, and you let it go. And it goes boom right to the target. Okay. Okay, then we have a high, a retracement, and a higher high, right? We do, we do. And during all of these trades, well, the buy trade, this is the one minute, the buy, you probably, we probably wouldn't have done the buy if you were following the dashboard of the five minute. See, when you're trading the one minute, you got to be in the same trend uh, alignment as the five minute. Okay. So anyway, this one's a bad one. I think. Oh, maybe not. Okay. So we have a high and a higher high. And oh, look at that. That's what I call level divergence. Anyway, the, the, the entry was right here. <clears throat> For the sell trade, you definitely would be doing the sell trade, okay? Um, or maybe it didn't line up at the time. I don't know. You got to understand that you can only use this at the time of the entry because sometimes it'll be the opposite, especially on a one minute, right? So according to this right here, you would have got short here if the five minute was was uh, up or down, a down arrow, okay? So your stop would have been 23 points, and it came and it went sideways, and it came down. You got you would have got your 23 points, and that's it. That's the last trade on here in the one minute. There we go. All right, let's look at the Dow now. Oh, it just did a big trend. This is where it opened, I bet. Yeah, 1630. Look at that big baton, eh? Remember what I told you about the batons? <laughs> if you're watching my channel, you do. Don't mess with the baton. That's for that's for the ladies, the young girls. They like to flip the baton. They flip it around and around. And if you get in there and try and trade, it'll flip you up and down and around and around. Anyway, okay. Where's the trade here, right? Well, there's a trade up here. On the five minute, it's a double top. You can see it. Let's draw the line. Double top. See, not as many trades. It's a higher time frame, right? So it would have got you in right on the opening of this candle. Uh, I'm not even going to say the price because it's different prices of all the different brokers. They play their games. Look at that. Went down 380 points to the bottom. And that's the only trade here. There's no, there's no other trade. Well, you could count this, but, you know, the five came, came up to 
you know, and kiss the seven. There is divergence here, if you could want to call it that. Let's see. So you got this here. And this right here. And you would have sold on the opening of this candle here. Your stop would have been 124 points. And it went down 196. Let's look at the S&P now. Same kind of charts, right? Same kind of charts, but the five didn't kiss the seven. Just one big sell-off, see? And then it went sideways. Didn't even have a trade here. We got a high and a higher high, but here it's higher than here, so there's there was no there was no trade up here to sell it on the five minute. On the 15 minute, what did it look like? Not so good either. No. Anyway, I don't see no trade there other than waiting for higher closing candles and selling it. Higher closing candle, sell it. Higher closing candle, sell it. This is on the five minute. So you got one, two, three, four winning trades right in here since the open. Four winning trades. And up here, see, there was very, there was only one little pullback candle, and it's very weak. Well, there's this one too, but, and they would have worked also. What did oil do? Oh, look at this, R roaming hills in the oil. <laughs> see, we go up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, and now we're going back up the hill. <laughs> Holy sheep, holy sheep shit. Look at that chart, eh? Weird, eh? Rolling hills. Funny, funny. Very funny. Okay. Let's show you from right here, okay? There's trades on here. And I'm pretty sure when we went to go and do the trade, the 15 minute was down. I'm certain of it, but you can't tell because it's always changing. Every time the moving averages crosses, this is going to change, okay? Things are going to change over here. This is this indicator is meant to use, you use it um, at the time of your setup. That's when you need to look at that. That's where it keeps you out of danger, okay? Okay, let's do this. So, we have what you call hard to see hidden divergence right there. And no, there is no rule in my rule book that you need to draw it up to here. There's no rule like that. However, even if we did draw it to there, let's see. Oh, I went past it. <laughs> Okay, we could draw it to there. It's still going to be divergent, okay? Come on. All right, and this one goes to here, I think. No, it goes to this little doodah here. Yeah, they're buying oil back up now. I wouldn't be surprised the NASDAQ, or, or even by tomorrow, it'll be back up to the top again. Wouldn't surprise me. Okay. That's oil. This was a sell trade right in here, right on the open of the U.S. session. You would have sold it, and your stop is the closest near swing high, which was 20, 25 points or so, and it went down 84 points. And then... Was there a buy in here? No. There's no divergence for that. But there's divergence again like this. Could you even draw it up to the top? But I won't. I'll draw it right there. Okay. And right there to... Yeah. So, somewhere down there. Whatever. And the second cell is right here. 
Beautiful day to trade oil if you know how to trade divergence, that is. So you would have got short right here at the pivot. Your stop is at the closest swing high, 35 points. And it went down 100. Now you see right here we have a low retracement, lower low, right? This is deeper than this valley, so there's no, there would be no trade. However, there is a trade. Let me show it to you. Right here. Low and lower lows. And I can draw it. I don't know. I think it's from this one. Is it this one? No, it's the next one. Yeah, it's this one. But you see that? That's still divergent, lady, ladies and gentlemen. That's still divergent. So you would have got long right in here. Okay? Stop the closest swing low, 44 points or so. And I already got you your one-to-one -one win loss ratio. Win, win, win. Yeah, you gotta love that. What a beautiful day to trade, huh? Yes. Now let's look at gold. What did gold do? Oh, look at gold. Did a big move, move, move. Woo. All right. What do we have right here out of, out of the hop? So that number must have come in bad, eh? There was a number. Uh, it was 815. Uh, just one sec. All right, I'm back. I had it on pause there. So we're looking at the news. So it was the ADP non-farm employment change. The actual number was 497K to the green. And it was forecasting 226. Um, yeah. I, I don't understand how... If this is a plus number... For more people working, right? You would think that, right? I don't know. That's one thing about Forex Factor. I never really understood why they show it in green and then, I don't know. Anyway, um, this this sucker right here is what made, uh, made gold sell off like this. Like, it took a dive, man. <laughs> It, 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 it dived down 248 points. But anyway, it was that news that caused this big drop, is what I'm trying to say. So you would have got right in there, or jumped in somewhere, and down it went. You would have, you would have done good. But we were in an uptrend just before that, so... I wouldn't be surprised this was up at the time. So it would have stopped you from getting in this trade. Yeah. That's what I think. I don't think my new gadget here, dashboard, would have lined up with this trade. No, I don't think so. Okay, let's move on now to the pound yen. We only have a few pairs to go. Pound yen. Oh, look at the divergence, divergence, divergence. Right up here, very easy to see. High, retracement, higher high. And look where they sold off of too on the pound yen. 184, man. You see that? And R1 also. Do you see how important these levels are? It's it's just incredible, these levels that I have. I, ha I had this indicator made I think it was in 2010, this whole numbers indicator. And at first, I didn't like it on my chart. It put too many lines on. It was distracting me. But I've gotten used to it, you know, now. And uh, believe me, it, it can help you. Like, look, right here, there would be a lot of people selling right here on the opening, thinking, oh, it's going down here. It's going to go back down here. Did it? No. No. And what stopped you from selling it right here is this baby blue dashed line. 
That's how important these levels are. Anyway, we got a high, a retracement, and a higher high right off 184. And we got a lower doodah right down here. And it was a sell. But I also think at the time we we're in an uptrend here. Uh, so let, let me see here. Let me put a line. I don't think this trade lined up. This trade over here probably lined up on a five minute, but let, let's see right here. We'll put a line there. We'll go to the 15 minute. Yeah, see? Let me, let me, hold on. Let me show you how I, I know exactly. So the entry would have been right here. Okay? So where this cross lines up on the uh, on the 15 minute. Yeah, it was right here. See? When it was, when these two lines crossed, the 5 was still above the 7. Do you see that? It would have never, it never, the dashboard on the 15 minute would have not been in agreement to sell here, okay? Just to show you how I, how I check that out, just like that right here. On the 15 minute, it wasn't crossed down. The arrow was still up. And there you have it. Okay, so then we had these trades. High closing candle, sell, down it goes. High closing candle, sell. Went up on you a little bit, but your stop would be up here. And down it goes. More up closing candle, sell it, sell it, sell it. See, it's all about buying the dips in an uptrend, right? Right here, buy it, up it goes, buy it, up it goes. And then a downtrend, you're looking for it to go back up. Sell it up, up close. Candle closing up. Holy jeez, I'm having a hard time talking today. Mugsy. Oh, man. Sorry about that. Um, okay. So you would sell it here. Down it goes. Sell it here. Down it goes. Sell it here. You know, you know those trades. Okay. Let's look at the euro yen. It probably looks the same or close to the same. Yeah. I'm sure these buy trades on the one minute on the way up. Okay. They were all lined up. They were all lined up. But now when it does a quick flip to the other side, it's not probably going to line up. So I, I bet you this trade wasn't going to line up. But I'm going to show you the counter trend divergence anyway okay you can draw it right up to here like this like that you would have sold it right there your stop would have been right up here about 36 pips it only went down 23 Right now, it's at 29. Okay. Let's look at the pound now, the last pair. Did it have divergence? So, yeah. But it's all, it's, they're, this one's with the trend. This one probably would have lined up with this. But this one up here, no. Because it rallied all the way up here on the 15 minute time frame, the five still would have been above the seven. Like I said, it's not going to line up all the time for the counter trend. What it's really going to line up for is with the trend, which is hidden divergence, hard to see divergence. Here's the setup. I'm going to show you anyway. I don't know. I wouldn't have sold it down here. I'd wait for a retracement somewhere in there and sell it. Okay, there was that trade, and then there was this trade right here. Okay. This one, I'm pretty sure, it was the better trade anyway, I'm pretty sure that the 15 minute was down below the 7. When this setup happened right here, it, the 15 minute would have been down. So it would be a perfect sell right there. 
And as you can see, your stop would have been right up here, only 14 pips. Went down 73 pips, right there. Right now, there's no divergence to buy it because this valley, uh, it's, it's what I call level divergence down here. So anyway, I wouldn't be a buyer right here because it's in a strong downtrend today. This is all about being on the right side at the right time. That's how you make money in the market. If you're on the wrong side, God help you. Like, you know how many people were buying right in here? A lot of people. And what did they do? They smacked it all the way down and took all their money. If their stops were here, they came and they got the stops. See, we had some buyers right here, see? Because they thought, oh, oh, yeah, right here, I'm going to buy it. It's going to go back up. No, it didn't do that. They sold it off even more harshly. And anyway, the scalp trade on the way down was right here. High closing candle. Sell it right here. Down it goes. Okay. Anyway, once again, my name is Jason Sweezy. I like to trade divergence. And that's what I like to show you here every day. Um, I want to thank you for listening and watching. And have a good afternoon. And good luck. And good trading.